Hi, this is Fran with Stampendus, and today I want to show you some fun things that you can do with snowflakes. In this video, we're going to show you some fun tips using our snow time frame, our polar play, and our penguin gift. So in this video, we'll show you some fun ways to use the polar play clear set, the snow time frame, and you'll notice the name frame in the, in the description, and the penguin gift. And the gift one works in with the gift wallet, so we named it for that. And this one works really well with the frame, as you will see. And the polar play works nicely with any combination of the above. But let's show you how this came off of making good use of the pop frame die set that we came out with in January. And we're going to show you how to work all of this together with uh, the dies and all our little snowflakes. So with this pop frame cutting die set, um, the wavy frame works really fun with these snowflakes. To stamp snowflakes all the way around, like we've done here, we need to start by die cutting our paper first. And it might be uh, different colors, but I'm using white just to show you the easy way that it works. And in the snow time frame uh, set, and again, we call it frame because it has this tie in, we've got a long and a short border of snowflakes. And I'm going to place these on my block. And we'll come in closer here. Okay, so with the long one, the corners down here actually fan out the most. And I've got it turned this way, and I've put it on the edge of my block so that the little bobbles on the end will fit the best for my long frame. And I stamped this in two different colors over here, but there's not enough contrast, so we'll fix that. Let me move this out of the way here. Okay, so taking the long one, if you'll stamp it first, move out to the edge, and then turn it around and do the long and on this side. Okay, and then with the shorter one, I think I'll do it in gray so that you can see it a little bit better. And I'd probably do it all in the same color, but it's just for teaching purposes here that if I show it in another color, that will probably help you see how the pattern fits. So with this one, again, I've got more um, irregular on that top edge and a little bit flatter on this side. So turning it that way kind of fills in the little bobbles on the end the best. And... I'll spin it around and fill in the short ends, okay? So again, if you had a big gap that looked uncomfortable, the easiest thing would be just to take um, a fine tip pen or whatever was the closest color to what you were stamping and do a couple of little dots. That really would fill in um, any odd little gaps and um, you could go forward with your paper. And of course, you always have the back side. So if you're not happy with your first one, turn it over and try the other side. But anyway, let me show you a couple more things here. Okay, so we've seen how to make it fill the space with the wavy frame. And here, um, again, if you pre-cut the size of panel that you want to use for your card, then you can find a way to fill in with uh, the other pieces going all the way around. So here I've done the long piece here 
and on this other edge and I've used the short one twice on the height of this. And as you can see here, um, I've stamped our little snow couple here. And by stamping it first and creating a mask um, with your sticky notes, this way you cut your mask one time, and I actually cut three at the same time. And then I've got them and I can uh, cover up the first impression and then stamp over it all the way around. And that gives me a nice all one layer uh, card that I can make. And the same way I could plan what I wanted to do with this little uh, melting snowman here. He's got his hot cocoa and that's going to be trouble. <laughs> but you can decide whether you wanted to stamp him um, in a vertical or horizontal, you have the freedom by these being separate pieces, and that still leaves you room to either die cut a window or pop up another message of any kind. Then switching over here now to the our penguins here, this has a whole set of snowflakes in it as well, and instead of a border, this little cluster is very versatile. So I wanted to show you how in this one, that cluster of three can get stamped across the wavy edge and create a very fun uh, opening of snowflakes in the middle. And again, you could cut out some of your... Um, polar play characters or the snowman and the penguins from this set and all of those little characters could get masked out or popped up either way and this shows you as well with a larger A2 panel how um, you can stamp your characters in place first and and then just stamp across the edge and that makes a really nice uh, snowy uh, frame. And in this one, there's a little short one and two little separate ones. And I stamped them, uh, this like this one in black, just so you can see. But I just kept turning that little cluster of three snowflakes. And that gives you a wonderful uh, way to make a border. Or in this case, with our little gift wallet, take a look here. We've done a whole continuous pattern of it on our little wallet. And again, you would die cut your wallet shape first and then decide if you want to do a pattern all the way across uh, that area, leaving a place for your little penguins, uh, your penguin gift here, the little characters on the front. And all of the fun surprises on the inside, you get to see our cute little snowman and all of the little gift card and coupon things and the little message can be all tucked in together. And who wouldn't love to receive a little gift wallet like that? <laughs> so just a couple of tips there for you. And we'll show you a gallery of other fun cards that we've done. And I'll point out just a couple of things here real quick on this one our little polar bears. On this one, I used the cloud die that comes from the dome jar set, and I just kept doing it at different angles and created all of these snow banks to work in behind my little characters. And here they're rolling down the hills and playing in the snow. So um, they've got a little package in this set and you can have them balancing it on their toes on the tip of their nose <laughs> and there's a little fish as well and the little fishy they can be juggling uh little fishies as well <laughs> ah. And I won't say what happens after they've been playing with them, right? <laughs> so anyway, hope those are some fun ideas. Take a look at some gallery with some other uh, finished cards from these three sets.